Kenyon Drake joining us here on the Rich Eisen Show from the Miami Dolphins, courtesy of Smile Train. How are you, Kenyon Drake? I'm good. How are you doing, Rich? Thanks I, for having me. Thank you for coming on the show. How are you uh, preparing for a full year, a full year of compliment of football, Kenyon Drake? Uh, well, we, uh, we literally just stepped off the practice field right now, so we just had a great, great Thursday practice, looking for a, a real smooth, fast Friday and you know, just taking it one week at a time, honestly. Just, All right. You know, having fun out here. Okay. How much of the load are you going to carry this year in this offense, would you say? Um, I mean, I don't know. I couldn't give you a specific number. Just whatever it takes to help this team win, oh, you know. Okay. We'll just, by by the know, way, that, just to let you know, I don't have you in fantasy yet. <laughs> okay. I draft tonight. Um, but I will tell you this, though. That was not a fantasy-related question. That said, uh Give me, give me a number. What, what, what on average number of touches do you think you're going to have this year, <laughs> Kenyon Drake? Um, I would, I would hope, you know, at least 15. You know, running, passing, you know, whatever the case may be. So, um, you know, with the offense rolling really good, um, I know Gase, you know, mentioned before he wanted me, you know, around 20 touches. So, you know, if at least 15, that would, you know, be around my wheelhouse, and you know, upward from there. What's your favorite route? Tell me your favorite route. I'm hanging with Marshall Falk for as many years as I have. I know that's a, the, what you ask a running back who likes to do more than just run. What do you like? Uh, you know, if <laughs> the funny thing is, you know, if, if I'm on wide and I have a you know a linebacker on me, you know, we just we just take it take it on the nine. You know, hope, you know, catch me if you can. <laughs> mm-hmm. Catch me if you can. What has Frank Gore been like to be hanging around with, Kenyon? Um. Frank is just a testament to longevity in this in this league. Uh, he he gets in, you know, the first person in. I asked, I was literally actually asking him today because I started noticing him um, coming in on, and working out before the early morning workout, which is at 6:45. And I'm like, you know, what time do you get up here? Because I already saw you got a, a sweat in before we even, you know, do the actual official workout. And he's like, you know, I get here at six o'clock every morning, and you know that that just you know opens my eyes up to. You know how long he's been in this league, doing what he needs to do, keep his body, you know, well, you know, well oiled, and you know, just throughout these years. And you know, I'm looking forward to you know seeing how you know what else he can bring to the table and help this team. And so, is there anything specifically you've picked up from him on the field? At all? Um, well, I don't know how much you you know you study his game or know you know exactly how he kind of runs and maneuvers, but he. Seeing him up, you know, in person, he has really the the best, one of the best feet footwork I've I've seen, you know, from a player, especially a running back. And that's really how you grade a really good running back. You know, his eyes, his speed, his his strength, obviously in contact situations. But you know, in any given in any given even given situation, his feet makes puts him in you know the best situation to you know make a good cut, make a good read. So he has real good feet and. Once he gets to that, to that, you know, the whole, you know, he sets up his blocks well, and you know, you know, he just uses, he just uses well with all his 14 years of experience, and also he still can run really good for however old he is, 55, 60. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. 55 or 60 year old Frank Gore. He is the inconvenient truth, Kenyon. That's that is what he is. He, so 55 or 60. I like that. I like that a lot. How has Tannehill looked? Kenyon Drake. Tannehill's look great. Um, you know, I feel like he has this this extra hunger that he um you know that you know you need out of your quarterback and especially with him coming off of um the last couple of years where well, you know, he got hurt the end of my rookie year and we were really, you know, beginning to roll and you know, after you know, having, you know, winning five, six games in a row. And um, you know, last year he got hurt in training camp and you know, you could tell you know, that definitely – it didn't really deter him from, you know, being here every day, doing what he needed to do, make sure, you know, he's still that leader of our team. But now that he's on the field, you know, and physically leading us, you can see, you know, how you know how bad he's wanting to be out here and, you know, help lead his team to, you know, where we need to be. So he's, he's definitely looking real great. Kenyon Drake here on the Rich Eisen Show. Did you watch any of the Hard Knocks on HBO, Kenyon? Did you catch any of it? Actually, I, I didn't. I don't, I don't have cable in my house. I just have Wi-Fi. <laughs> Excuse me. Say that one more time. You don't have. You don't. Well, I mean, you know, you're on a show on Directv right now. Do you need? Do you need help on that front? <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm good financially. It's just no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> that's not where I'm going. I can give you a hookup. Is what I'm saying. Oh, I mean, I can always take a hookup. It's just you know, I, I um, you know, I just watch Netflix or play the video game. So you know, I don't really watch a lot of TV. So, so what are you watching like, then? What are you What are you watching then? 
Um, Netflix show. actually just started watching The Office. I didn't, I had never watched it from from start to the beginning, so I'm like on season one right now. So it's pretty funny. Oh, you are in for a good one. Now the the American version, right? Not the British version. You know, there's a yeah, British yeah, the version. Yeah, American version. Okay. Yeah, I never. Yeah, I've never seen the American. I mean, a British version. It's pretty good, Ken. So who's your favorite character in The Office right now so far? Um, uh, I really. I don't really have a favorite character right now. I'm still trying to fill fill, fill okay. them all out because they're really all awkward. And it's really like, it's almost like to the point where it's like almost uncomfortable to watch because all the situations are just so awkward. But that, that also makes me like keep wanting to watch it because I want to see what other quirks they have. You okay. Know, I so if there was a camera on you and who would be the one that would say the, the craziest things in the Dolphins locker room that we would then zoom in on you and you'd look at the camera kind of like giving <laughs> us that look of like, what's, what's he saying? Who would that be? Um, who would that be? Probably like by McCain. He's a character. He okay. definitely he leads the charge when it comes to that. Andre Branch. You know, I feel really a defense in general. We have a lot of characters on defense. I feel like offense. Um, we're losing Jarvis. Like I wouldn't say we don't have any any outspoken characters, but we have just in terms of the defense. They we have a lot of people who are just. You know, they, they, they have that type of personality, and I feel like offense this year is a little more even kill. Well, that Jarvis, that's where I was going with the hard knocks. You know, Jarvis gave quite a speech in episode one of mm -hmm. Hard Knocks uh, filled with unmentionable words that we can't say right here on our live uh, simulcast, Kenyon. Um, I'm wondering how that soliloquy of his played in your locker room. Yeah, no, Jarvis was, he's, you know, Bar none, one of my favorite people to be around in general, especially on the field. I would, you know, go to war with him. And if, you know, you weren't already aware, me and him, you know, had a little bit of a situation at the end of the year last year against Buffalo to where we got kicked out of a game for, you know, going a little, having a little extracurricular activity. Oh, I saw know. that. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, between, you know, with me and him, I, like I said, he's, I, we, we both wear our, our, our emotions on our sleeves when it comes to that. I'm, you know, that's something that I kind of have to, you know, learn as I, you know, become, you know, more in this professional realm and things like that because obviously I don't want to, you know, put a situation where I'm out on the field to help my team win. You know, I don't want to do that. But also, you know, I have uh, innate ability to go out there and just make plays, be emotional. That's just a game. And he brought that, you know, to this team um, on and off the field. And, you know, you saw that, you know, I feel like he's going to do the same thing with, you know, and, and, and obviously with the Browns because, you know, it showed on hard knocks. So, I mean, obviously, I wish nothing but the best for him because, you know, he's always going to be a player no matter where he is or where he goes. So then who's wound tighter, Kenyon Drake? Jarvis Landry or Nick Saban? Who's wound mm. tighter? Wow. Um, can I do 1A, 1B? <laughs> However you wish to answer the question, but I do I do require an actual answer, though, Kenyon. Um, I feel like Nick Saban, he's, he's definitely a perfectionist. And not saying Jarvis isn't, but... I feel like with the, the you know the the leadership role as a, a head coach for the Alabama Crimson Tide, he has more of say so to he can just you know be you know go ballistic and be that type of person that he needs to be, but then also he can be you know a proprietor for you know comfort when you know it's, it's interesting those games where we're you know and you noticed in the last game if you watched it against Louisville. When we're blowing a team out, that's when he's most active. He's most. Oh, I saw you know, that. He's, he's all over the place. He got so, after somebody for a personal foul penalty up 30. Uh, I saw that. He took yeah, the Christian kid. Christian Miller, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I play with Christian Miller, and you know, it's just funny just seeing him because he's not that type of player. But, you know, in those situations, you know, you kind of lose your, 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 your cool. And, you know, Sable will remind you who, who's better at losing their cool. <laughs> <laughs> Did you Have you ever been on the business end of one of those from Nick? Oh, yeah. What was it? What's that like? A couple of times. Um, you kind of just have to just just keep on walking, and you know he's you know he's, he's a little he's a little shorter than everybody, so he'll, he's going to be like right under your chin strap, <laughs> you know, and you're going to feel you're going to feel that rage, that fire, like right under your chin, and you kind of have to just keep moving. And you know, if he really wants, you know, he get you on chin, he'll stand in front of you. Then you have to kind of just stand there and just take it, and eventually he'll be done. And then you know, lesson learned. Okay. <laughs> Kenyon Drake, Dolphins running back here on the Rich Eisen Show. Tell me about Smile Train before uh, before you head off. Uh, so Smile Train is a is a is a um, organization to where they benefit Cliff Charity or they're a Cliff Charity that uh, benefit Cliff Lips um, and Cliff Palettes um, internationally. And I had the pleasure to one go up and do a fundraiser uh, walk up in New York and uh, on uh, Long Island where they were founded. 
Um, we raise money for, um, you know, a select, a select, you know, group of people to come up there and, you know, just take take advantage of the walk that we had. And then I went to the opportunity to go to Mexico City to where I uh, firsthand saw patients. I uh, went to patients' houses. Um, you saw their transformation in there, not just, you know, the, the kid in general, but the family in general. Um, I went, um, I witnessed um, surgeries uh, firsthand. Like, it was, it was awesome. It was definitely a great experience. So, uh, Smile Train definitely uh, is, 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 in my eyes, on the leading frontier on, you know, helping kids just have a better um, quality of life because a smile is, you know, the first impression for a lot of people. And, you know, first impression is the most important impression. And if you don't have that confidence, you don't have that ability to, you know, go out and, you know, promote yourself, you know, as, you know, as fulfilling as you want to, that could be you know, detriment of any type of person. So I feel like Smile Train is definitely, you know, giving almost like a second chance to a lot of people who, you know, have that, you know, that that, that infliction. Good for you, Kenyon Drake. SmileTrain.org is how you can get involved in what Kenyon Drake is talking about. All right, uh, thanks for the call. Let's make this a regular thing, okay? Oh, yes, sir, I you, appreciate you it. You tell Coach Gase, Rich Eisen said, I want 1,000, 1,000 out of you this season, okay? Ooh, That's the I touches. That I want 1,000, 1,000. You tell Coach Gase, okay? No, for sure. I, I'm going to go right up to his office right now and right now. deliver the message personally. Yes, he's been on this show. He knows me. I know him. So 1,000, 1,000. If you want to record the video and send it to us, we'll post it. We'll do it. We'll make it content. We'll get it out there. All right, and make sure you draft me tonight too. Oh, that's a given, sir. I'm, <laughs> I'm on it. I am on that. So why do you think I told you to tell Gase 1,000, 1,000? Come on. There's a, For sure. It's a method. Not, not method. <laughs> K, <laughs> KDX32 on Twitter. Kenyon Drake, good to chat yep. with you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You bet. Right back at you. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.